Gaming Myth back with something new today, or at least relatively new. Frost Punk! Looks like uh, your average uh, city builder style of game with the twist of building in a giant freezing ice hole. And uh, it looks like steampunky turn of the century, turn of the 19th century technology level. At least I think. We shall see how accurate my brilliant predictions happen to be this time around. Alright then. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. What the Rulers fuck? Of That's a thing. Stripped of pride and glory. That is a big ass. Steam powered thing. Until the frost stopped it all. Oh, that was quick. Suddenly. Poor little ladybug didn't stand a chance in hell. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us. No matter wealth or class. They're fine. They still got a dog to eat. The kid's got an entire horse. He ain't gonna be hungry for a while. Traces of humanity. All right. So, are we starting in London or near London? We bid farewell to plenty, and for those who remained, came the time to adapt. Eh, we decided that's a to leave pretty cool-looking thing. And head north. Wonder if that'll actually play any role in the game, or if it's just there for we the cinematic. For weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. Until their gigantic it steam engine hope. falls into the ocean, and everybody Push drowns. The end. Slowly. Step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price. Okay, so they're climbing an ice wall. How the hell are they getting their giant Finally, steam tank the time up there? Has come to build the last city on Earth. from London and across the sea to reach the frozen north on the way our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the side of this generator only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Okay, so the generator was there beforehand. It's not from the uh, giant steam city thing. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Any others out there? Whatever we do. Expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. All right. How many people I got? So, who built this generator? How many of these generators were built? And where did they go? Stockpile some coal and start a generator. All right. Uh, how would I accomplish such a thing? Okay, so that's coal. Workers, there. And more coal here, more workers. It's actually a nice touch, they actually have to push through the snow. I wonder if it'll backfill on them. Or if the once they force the path through, it'll stay. Now, you people seem awfully cheerful for, for you know, freezing to death. You know what? I'm gonna get more of you people working. What do we use this down here? Wood crates. We certainly use some of them. And steel wreckage. Get five of you and f I think my engineers are who does the building, so I'm gonna keep a solid core of ten of them back there. While I get all this other assorted stuff scavenged. Alright, so I have 
construction, book of laws, and economy. Can I build anything? Tents. Medical post I start with. Food for cookhouse. Okay, so preparing food, gathering food. A gathering post. Coal piles. Okay, so instead of having to run it all the way back, they can just bring it here. That's actually a pretty good thing to have. There and not adjacent to the street. Alright, so where do I build the street? Is that what that is? Yes, it is. Building streets. And one for you as well. Can I not? Oh, okay. I think I had to... I don't have the wood. Okay. Speed things along a little bit since it's just going to be gathering. So it looks like it's going to be circular. The radius is built out from the generator. Do I have some coal? Yeah, let's get this thing working. Food! City dies, be mindful of coal reserves. Raw food, build a cookhouse. Okay, so I need... Um, Hunter's sh hunters huts and food supply requires at least one worker so leaves you 15 available let's get that up and running so now that I got that uh, So now that I have that gathering hut and those ten guys there, they should gather from that automatically, meaning those two separate groups I can free up. At least one worker will get Max set out here. And... Yeah, I needed the... Uh, there we go. The roads look like they don't take too long, but how do they... Okay, so they've got uh, pipes running through them, leading to here. That's a nice little touch. So they actually have some sort of logical explanation as to why this doesn't snow back over. These boards, these planks set down, are heated all the way out to the gathering hut. That's a nice touch. Hunter's hut or hot house. That would be under food. Hunter's hut... Looks like three. Oh, let me see homes. I need homes also. So these are two. So yeah, I want I want things that are the same depth. So the houses are two, but the hot house and hunter's hut was three, which would create an annoying uh, break in the perimeter, which would be wasted space. So I'll put. A row of two directly around it, which would be uh, mostly houses falling in line with the stockpile. And then the hunting hut and other assorted level threes beyond it. Uh, sick people. Shit, okay. How many people I got over here? Fifteen still going? Must get more wood! Must get more wood! I'm on now. Fuck's sake. Alright, let's speed things along a little bit. See how this is going. Come on now. Come on. You can do it. We can kick, kick the move on, chaps. There's still plenty of work to do. Discontentment is rising. Alright, so I got the 44 wood now, so we can get one of these. You know what? Fuck it, let's get two of those. And a hot blah blah blah. 
Resource depot gathering post, workshop, medical posts. Cookhouse will be the next one. How big is the cookhouse? That's the question. That that'll tell me which uh, which row I'm gonna put it in. Cookhouse is a three, so yeah, that lines up perfectly. So we'll go ahead and get you in there. People from our convoy, basic resources secured for now. Rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. Need a workshop. Okay. Let's check out Book of Laws. Um, okay. Is nothing available? Oh, there we go. Emergency shift. Fighting arena. Okay, so discontentment, but people will never stop working. Could come in handy. Uh, build a fighting pit, and it'll cheer people up watching people bludgeon the shit out of each other. Soup. So, make my food stretch farther. Food additives, sawdust. <laughs> Both of these are for uh, making your food go farther. Radical treatment. Thirty percent amputees. Blah 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 blah. Cemetery. Fairly self-explanatory. Corpse disposal. We'll keep dead bodies out of the heat zone and cover them with snow. The cold will halt their decay. No risk of disease. Bodies are preserved for potential future use. What? Potential future use. As what? That's an interesting. Uh, child labor, safe jobs, or child shelters. And let's go s child shelters. That'll keep my yammering jackals help happy. So let's get that up and running. That's done. That's done. Oh shit. A lot of that's over there is done. Alright. So I got 420 coal, 91 wood. Get a couple more of these tents put down. At least enough to get my people housed. That'll help with most things, probably. It's a little annoying that there's that one blank space there, but maybe there's something three wide. Maybe the child shelter. Nope, that's a three D. Uh, health. Maybe a medical post. Nope, we still got that one dead space right there in the middle. That annoys me. I hate leaving dead space like that, especially this close to my city center. But it's what I've got, so maybe a cookhouse. Nope. Much bigger. Gotta be something. Gotta be something I can plug in right there. Hunter sentence three deep medical post. Fuck it, I'll just put a medical post in there. I'll deal with the one spot. Requires at least one worker for the cookhouse. That up and running. Doing pretty good getting most of these uh, tents set up. I'm thinking I can upgrade those tents over time though into something better as I unlock new technologies. This thing, looking at it, this thing is remarkably inefficient. If its entire purpose is to provide a power source and heat, look at all that waste heat it's venting. If they were to just narrow that fucking breach right there, and maybe where these um, anchor lines are set, extend some of the same piping they use here out, 
They could vent massive amounts of that heat that they're just wasting right now and use it to drastically increase the uh, comfort zone. But that's what I get for uh, trying to apply logic. You still working at 10%? Uh, 10 bodies? Yeah. Alright, let's keep this going. Alright, so everybody's... At least everybody is... Uh, have a house now. At least everybody has tents. And that was quick. It was at six. Half my people aren't sick anymore. That's a nice touch. Alright, so... What's next? Do I have 15 bodies free? I don't think I do. Zero available workers. Somewhere on the screen where it shows you your bodies? Unemployed. Yeah, there we go. 50 people working. The kids aren't working. The engineers are, but they're idle. Probably throw another... Um, gathering post out here once I get some more wood, but... Is that wood? Yeah, that's wood crates. Come on, guys. Need 15 wood to get that started up on the other side. Alright, 15 more wood. That's that. A gathering post. Right there will get me all of it. And then the road good a place as any for that. Alright. The engineers that aren't doing anything else should be on their way out to build that. Got these guys up here gathering my coal. So did they send out parties before the groups with the giant steam tank thing to set up these? How many of these did they set up? Why did they choose to set it up here? What's special about this random little tiny hole? Hmm. Well, a perfect circle like that, this is probably not a natural formation. It might be that they built this on ground level and it's slowly melted its way down into this hole. Possible. Possible. Wood crates depleted. Gathering post resources depleted. Is there a dismantle building? Yep, there we go. That frees me up. Should free me up uh, 15 workers for that hunting hut. So I need a child shelter. A workshop and a beacon. Okay. Child shelter. That one was a triple as well. Yeah, it was a three deep. Slot it in right there and run a road out to it. And a workshop. Tech. Okay. Right. I wonder if each workshop I get allows me to build, allows me to research something. I'll have to check that out in a minute. Once I get that up and running. Shouldn't take too long. Look at that, it's already done. Child shelter is ready and the children are safe inside. I work without worrying that something will happen to their kids. Yay, my people are more hopeful now. Engineers here? Alright. And, okay, yeah, so it's research. Each building can do a new research. Okay. Drawing boards, two, three. Is this, is this it? Is this the entire oh, exploration and industry? Okay. Let's get heaters for workplaces. I don't have the tin wood I need. Uh, hunter gear. Tin wood. Faster gathering. Tin wood. Fuck sake. Fuck sake. Yep, everything's gonna take wood that I don't currently have any of. Could not resume production. Requires raw food. 
Uh, food about 13 hours. Food rations, okay. So I have some stored food, and the raw food is what I gather from hunting. Which I'm guessing they'd use the raw before they used the food rations. Uh, five of each. Discontent is low, which is a nice touch. People are depending on me. Okay, good. Everybody's being treated. I don't have any people waiting for care, at least. Negative 40. Good lord. That would be a little chilly. Not exactly up on my... non-imperial temperature measurements, but... Work. Yes, I know, I don't have any wood for you. There's some out here, though. They should get to it before too long. Need ten for my first research. Nine, ten, alright. Now we can get some research going. Oops, what are you? Hunter's gear. Better snowsuit shoes. Twenty raw food per hunt. Yeah. More food is more food. Cold. That's my cookhouse. That's alright, I don't have any raw food for them to cook right now. They're still working on the coal deposits down there. Well, that'll just about cover it for the basics here, folks. We got a. Uh, don't want to call it a thriving community up and running, but it's at least stable. Got a good supply of coal, so that thing will keep running. Got some uh, steel, one steam core, some wood. And nobody's died horrifically yet, so that's a good place. Uh, yeah. So I'll probably make some other videos on this game as time goes by. It's, uh, sitting building games usually don't make for great videos unless you have a specific goal in mind. There's only so long that, you know, watching me plop down houses can be entertaining. But, as always, folks, thanks for watching. Keep an eye on the channel, and uh, you'll see this or other similar games or other games as I uh, move forward and expand the channel a little bit more. Thanks for watching. See you next time.